Hello everyone, it is Leon here and I am with Dave. Hello. Has just come back from Paris. Was it seeing Watch Dogs? I was seeing Watch Dogs. Uh, okay, so tell us, we've seen something before, tell us what we're seeing here, what's, what is happening? Right, so this bit is essentially, these are bases which are called CTOS systems, which is essentially a central city operating system. Right. Um, in practicality, they work quite like the um, antennas and encampments you get in Far Cry 3. So you have several of the, well, many of these bases spread throughout uh, Watch Dogs Take in Chicago. Um, and in each district, you essentially have to hack one of these um, bases, and specifically the mainframe room found in these bases, to actually fully get all the benefits of that area of the map. It's like, so think in Far Cry 3, you have to scale that antenna yeah. to reveal what's in the map. So so is the map closed off until you clear the well, Is this the red section we can see on the yeah, map? Yeah, the, the benefits of it are closed off, so you won't be able to hack anything in that district until I you see. hack the mainframe. So and this is using, what's that device called that you've got, the, the, the handset thing? I don't think they gave a name, but essentially it's a smartphone that, that has yeah. many different... And you use that, so you, with, until you take these bases out, you can't hack phones. Yeah, so you can't hack ADM. security cameras, or you can't read people's profiles in this district, so it's very much like exploring the city, coming across these bases. And these bases then work like the encampments in the Far Cry, where you know, yeah. you, have, well, you don't necessarily have to uh, adapt. How does this bullet point thing happen here? Is that so this is called focus mode, or the focus, <laughs> um, and it's essentially a, a slow motion mode where... They want Ubisoft Montreal one attack as a kind of a system that lets you multitask quite easily in the fly. So you know right. whether you're doing a hairpin in the corner while hacking a security camera, so it's you know designed to allow you to shoot and hack at the same time. You know, so it just lets you process things. What sort more of things easily. can we can we interact with then? Because we saw then he he made some cover pop up. Um, he made something explode. I think he might have shot. That so actually. essentially, you can almost interact with any electronic device in the city. Be that. Um, Wi-Fi hotspots or security cameras or people's smartphones. Can you leap then? He seemed to seem to be like he leapt to a camera he could see. So if you can see it, you can hack it? Yeah, essentially. As soon as you've like hacked into the mainframe of a CTOS ba base, you essentially can have access to any electronic device in that district when you come across it. Now, we also got shown these Wi-Fi hotspots, which they almost work like platforming challenges where you'll see essentially a line which leads up to somewhere and you have to follow that point of sight to the kind of the mainframe box right. and then when you hack into that you can actually get access to say say if you're hacking into an apartment building you can actually gain access to say people's laptops that was in here so that's essentially like the the webcam in his laptop so you can see in yeah. people's lives and there's a certain degree of voyeurism and big brother going do you, do you get anything so. out of that or is it just do you just discover things it's you, well yeah it's like it's all like little personal stories so you can like read through their emails and it's kind of like showing you the real personality and the kind of yeah. darker side they say they described it as like seeing it's darker underbrow but also seeing like lots of mundane kind of stupid little scenarios just to give the game some personality and so. uh, how is it structured because we see um, we've seen a lot of what we're seeing here is that he just sort of Browses through files, hacks into people's phones, discovers crimes in progress and things that yeah. are happening, and then pursues them. There doesn't seem to be any core I mean, I mean, there is, mission there is, at the moment. There is certainly a, a very pronounced narrative through fair where it, I mean, there are hundred plus story missions which are promised. Um, but the key thing that Jonathan Marin, who's a creative director in the game, is emphasising is is a word he kept coming back to systemic. Which essentially, and I hate this word, it's all about <laughs> emergent gameplay. But this is a lot of what they're showing off, isn't it? You yeah, see, so in the previous demo, you yeah. saw the woman being attacked by the husband, and you just sort of find things as so you So, I think this is a big part of what the disruption engine, which is the, the engine they've built for Watch Dogs over the last four years, is mm. really being tailored to, especially in next gen. It's all about creating a world where you feel like you're constantly reacting to organic events that will yes. never play out the same way. So... You know, in essence, it's about you know going up to a guy, and you know, in one version of it, he might have a different story. So he, you know, his stats might might um, be different than other players, and you know, he might get involved in a crime that might be somewhat different from someone else's game. So yeah. it's all about these. It's all about avoiding scripting at all possible costs. Do we know anything about the uh, the main character? We're seeing a car chase here. Yeah. We'll see some of the focus time um, takedowns in the car in a moment, but. He seems to be a kind of quite murky. We see him saving people one minute and then robbing a, a gun store the next. What is his kind of... So, yeah, it's Aiden Pierce. Um, Ubisoft described him as like, a vigilante who's a bit of a paranoid obsessive. He starts with 
sort of surveilling his family because he wants to protect them from an event that's happened in his past. And then that kind of paranoia stretches out from watching his family to watching his block to watching his district to watching his neighbourhood to watching the whole city. Oh, right. So it's all kind of it's a level of like paranoia which is all based on you know, like hacking and the surveillance system that's tied into his family. So. Uh, and it's one of the, the PS4 games we've seen the, the most of so far. I mean, what are your thoughts on it as a kind of indication of the next generation? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's going to be a very pretty game that gives us a lot of kind of small detail and, you know, divergent possibilities that weren't possible in PS3. Brilliant, thank you very much.